four young agriculture tech innovators from Kenya, Ghana, and Nigeria have won under different categories in the Ayuta Next Gen competition. They will receive $1.5 million as a catalytic fund and technical support to help improve their innovative solutions for smallholder farmers. While there weren't any winners from Uganda this time, the country's agri-tech innovators still have a lot to learn from their peers. So we used to import wheat over a billion dollars every year. But in the last four years, uh, Ethiopia created a, f a cluster, a cluster of, of uh, wheat farmers across the country where an average of 40 to 60 hectares of a neighborhood farmer combined together and the government supported the supply of seed, fertilizer, crop protection and mechanization service. So the coverage of wheat increased from 2 million hectares to 4 million hectares of land and where the productivity increased from 2.2 to 3.5 metric ton per hectare. I extremely encourage our young people to be able to engage, to engage in the programs which we are implementing that are youth focused, also to be able to connect with other fellow young, young Africans because that's a much more sustainable way in which we're going to be, be, to be able to address the challenges that our continent are facing from a food systems perspective. Since 2021, the international organization has directly impacted 1.1 million young people and reached around 400,000 smallholder farmers. Africa has the lowest yield per hectare. For every farmer that we're able to provide mechanization to, they have a 5x increase in their yield. And so far, through our support of that innovation, we've reached 200,000 smallholder farmers. But that's not just all. We've also been able to catalyze unusual financing through a very unconventional method to so young people at the last mile. They can now become tractor owners. Jobs have also been created for young people who are now extension service workers providing tractor services to farmers at the last mile as well. Is that we've been around 80 years working with smallholder farmer families and here on the continent we've been here 50 years. And we deeply believe and understand, right, what it means to work uh, in smallholder farming systems. And we know this because we have worked with farmers. With 50 years of empowering the youth, their key advice is that collaboration is vital for transforming Africa's food systems. Those who didn't win will still gain access to mentorships, networks and investors to drive sustainable agriculture. Rwanda Habwe, NTV, Weekend Edition.